What does life mean to you? It is a very hard question for every single person in this world, even the richest person on earth won't be able to answer this question because he or she doesn't even know that they will be born as the richest human on earth. We all have this one chance of being in this mother earth and it's just a matter of us dealing with it because each of us is different. Having this chance of knowing people, exploring places, having an interest in something because the interests of each of us might be different and having to explore something new every day it's just a magical thing we don't ask our mom to give birth on us and we will die eventually but we don't even know when there is no exact answer to that right and we just have to be grateful especially my generation we are living in this era where we have internet, we're able to search for everything that we wanted to know. But it is also a big source of distraction. Sometimes we just take things for granted now. Going for a sunset walk. Yeah, so fresh. Life interpretation is such an abstract topic to talk about. I'm just talking here as a 22-year-old girl having the chance to know more of the world and knowing more culture, more people. I'm not a specialist or a professional. I'm just a curious person who's thinking, why am I even born here in Indonesia, not somewhere else? Or why am I a girl? What, how does it matter? It's part of existential crisis, I guess. And don't you realize that everything in life it's just a matter of point of view. Each of us has different way of thinking. For example, we go to watch a movie. We can't say that we have the same opinion from the other person. For example, we bring our friend and we can't say that one thing is wrong and one thing is right because emotions is just not black and white. It's just the matter of us interpreting it what are we actually thinking about this one thing and us humans we got used to having habits having scheduled calendar and taking that every single bullet points that we have on a day and finishing those work is just success in so many ways as a person who adores being productive it's just it feels weird to have this free time and I always want to put something extra to this extra hour that I'm not doing anything and does it mean that I'm reaching success in any ways? Especially after living in Japan for six months working there, my brain is programmed to feel that every single second or a millisecond counts, I would have done something useful to be able to convert time into a productive piece of work. I was so obsessed on doing things as fast as possible. And as long as I finish those checklists, I just see that as a reward. And I just ask for something more just to show that I'm capable on something more. It's just the way of thinking in that part of the world and you have to realize that being busy doesn't mean that you're being productive it's just a matter of doing things more effectively and efficiently i always thought that putting my schedule as tight as possible is the key to success but actually not really you would have finished that project at work or finish that meeting with business partner but if you're not enjoying the process of it does it really matter let's start off talking about believing on something and what's actually meaningful for you what are we imagine that day that we were just born we're just a little creature that doesn't know anything in life and we start learning something small like talking crawling walking but as an adult we have to find an interest or passion 
that can sustain our life, something that catches our attention and still feel excited on doing it every day and we just have to pay our rent and feed ourselves. What's actually meaningful for you is something that you choose yourself. You can't force someone to change for you because change is something that comes from within. You might have just wasted your energy and someone else's action is more complicated than you think. It might be their past, their childhood, the way they live, or simply their certain beliefs. And changing someone is again not an option, but you can take a detour on yourself and search what actually matters to you. I have this quote for you. I am no longer accepting the things I cannot change. I am changing the things I cannot accept. Well, you are in charge on designing your own life. You might have started as a mediocre in the beginning, but if you believe that you have this passion on certain things, if you put that extra effort on practicing doing it every day, believe me, you will get better. And getting someone else's input is something great. But in the end, you just have to reflect on, our, on yourself. Is it really something that creates joy on myself? Is it something that I really want to do every day? Having that hunger to learn is already a great start. You just have to search for it, dig for more. Because the more you dig into yourself, the more you know about yourself. Let's talk about getting breaks and meditation. Your busy mind clearly needs breaks in your life. Don't overwork it because it won't work as well or as clear as you want it to be. Do you remember the last time that you can even focus and think clearly on taking any decisions? Or as simple as not knowing what to do next in your day because you just forget about stuff. Taking breaks will really help you clarify your mind. What are your priorities? What are the things that you can't live without? and also your goals. You know that you're capable on doing something, maybe you haven't done it before, but make that as a challenge then. Putting intentions on something that you believe will work for you, will definitely give you fruits in the end eventually, but you just don't know when. You just have to start it first because no one is born knowing. Even the smartest, Human being on earth doesn't know everything in the world. Practicing meditation will really help you focus on yourself better and understand that you're, you actually have so much space to grow. You're just a sprout that is growing to a green lush tree. It will take time for you to be able to control this busy mind. But if you can reach that point where you got into a bad mood or someone distracts you for something and then you just close your eyes and take some deep breaths and go back on who you are this is self-control we are a living organism that have power to be able to be aware of our environment use this chance to be able to create positive impacts to others happiness what does this word actually mean to you? It can mean so many different things and how do we even interpret our own mind that we are feeling happiness? And does it even exist? And how do we find happiness? Mark of the day. It was a beautiful sunny day. This is Fresh Market. We got some vegetables, two chickens. Welcome to an Indonesian traditional fresh market. It might be weird if you're living in the other side of the world. Everything here are fresh from the farmers. But you gotta be careful because you just don't know an exact price of anything. Look at the amount that we bought. It was a lot of chili, limes, long beans. Indonesians are extremely warm people. Look at their smiles. I felt so alive when I was there in Bintan. It's unexplainable. So for today, we're gonna get um, pineapple chili with some 
much the balls. Yep, we prepared all the raw products on a water bucket. Check out my dorm's kitchen. It's literally just a stove and two pots. We had so much fun cooking there and got the most out of it. The smell is so good. And tara, simplest lunch yet the most enjoyable. Maybe you have that amount of money that you wanted, that amount of asset, but does that make you happy? Maybe you can afford the most expensive house, expensive cars. You have 10 pieces of clothing, 10 cars, 10 houses, but does it really count if that is something that doesn't really matter to you? This world makes us human to be consumptive. It's just nothing is never enough and we realize that the more the world offers to us, the more fortune we have, we always demand for something more. Are there something else that we can buy to make us happy? When was the last time you buy something and then you just feel that excitement? having that package arriving into your house and opening it for the first time or maybe having the first bite of pizza when you're just so hungry but when you're already full and you ordered the full package of burger and you just have to finish the last pieces of the french fries it's getting harder and there is no more excitement to it but think about it that's the presence of family, friends. Perasaan paling fresh tuh kapan? Apa? Saat gue pulang dari kampus atau dari kerja. Terus? Bisa buka kaos kaki. Ah. <laughs> you're going out with them and then you're just distracted again and then again just on your phone scrolling into unlimited amount of visuals on certain apps that are booming right now and they will really realize that you're not actually paying attention to them celebrating new year <laughs> where you can do these in your room maybe you just feel like you need to kill time but the, you're with them with your loved ones you have to be present because these moments are not coming twice time will just pass by without even you realizing it or appreciate it so next time use all your senses be present at the moment talk to your loved ones because these moments will never come twice and just enjoy every second that you have with them let me take you to a little day trip to the nature we were trying to search for some lynx a big cat species if you don't know the morning ride was very calming the sunrise looking at those animals living freely in nature Looking at the clear blue sky and breathing the freshest air. So we're trying to spot some links on top of the hill right here. Uh, we have seen so many partridges. So let's see if the links are here. Though we didn't find them, we found some other animals. It's so breathtaking. We went to a tunnel and found some chicks getting fed by their mother. So much love given out there. Having no regrets, we are who we are based on our life experiences and each of us have different experiences. It builds on the way we think, the way we bring this life how we want it to be. Imagine a house that is built with love and in such high quality 
it will just survive every single disasters that are hitting it unlimited sandstorms thunderstorms anything and imagine that we are building this dream house right now and we're not even close to finishing it we might found some unmatched pieces but that's just part of building it and every single piece counts so don't ever think you regret something in your life because you just learn from the past and that's why you should find better actions on the present to be able to get a better future and reach your, your goal better And you might find better pieces instead and create a better house. You might fall once, but get the good part of everything. Learning takes time and you'll just get better in the end. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time and all your advices from the previous video. I actually received some personal messages and I was just so happy that you guys are joining me on this little journey. Tell me in the comments down below on your current goals and have you lived in the moment and try to meditate. Thanks to Julie for recommending me this app. I just started my meditation journey and it has been so amazing. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, double thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to click the subscribe button and I'll see you next week.